You know what I can't help but think is kind of funny? Going back to uh, going back to Roman Reigns in his thousand days, mm-hmm. and how I have argued that, dude, it doesn't matter. Just give me a good show. Like I, I don't care about this rain. It's not even like a great rain anyway. He's not even there most of the time. Oh, but it's important, Brian. It's important. Blah blah blah. Ratings and money, buddy. Listen, do you guys that are telling me how important this a thousand, this one thousand days rain is, are you that passionate about the fact? That we have a Raw and SmackDown women's champion whose reigns are just going to end and begin again because they're switching belts because they got drafted to different brands. Are you going to get that angry about that? Because you know what? That's stupid. Now we've got, uh, you know, we've got this weird draft where it's like, okay, well, you know, we got to have a second champion because you must be exclusive to your brand. Unless you're the women's tag team champion. Then you go wherever you want. What? Well, let me tell you this, okay? Let me tell you this. Did you, uh, the other day, I ran down the list of where everybody was at. Do you remember this? Yes. Okay. So, I want to read the uh, list of women that are available now on Raw and SmackDown, okay? All right. These are the women available on Raw. Alexa Bliss, Becky Lynch, Candice, Carmella, Chelsea, Dana Brooke, Emma, Indy Hartwell, Katana Chance! Caden Carter, Liv Morgan, Natty, Nikki Cross, Piper Niven, Raquel, Rhea, Ronda Rousey, Shayna Baszler, Sonya Deville, Tegan Knox, Trish Stratus, Zia Lee, and Zoe Stark. I'm not even going to count them. It would take me about 15 minutes. Then we've got the SmackDown women's division. Alba Fire, Aaliyah, Asuka, B-Fab, Bailey, Bianca, Charlotte, Dakota, Isla Dawn, EO Sky, Lacey Evans, Mia Yim, Scarlett, Shotzi, Tamina, and Zelina Vega. Now, granted, there's more women on Raw, but it's a three-hour show. But, I mean, I look at these rosters now. They've called everybody and their mother up. Literally, Trish Stratus is on Raw. And uh, I think that what we can do here is uh, just, why don't we make it all consistent? Make have the SmackDown, uh, have the NXT women's titles become the SmackDown women's championship, the tag team championship. Have Raw women's tag team champions, SmackDown women's tag team champions, just do a new tournament for NXT because clearly it doesn't matter any of these belts, except when it does matter, like a thousand days. Other than that, it totally doesn't matter at all. They just switch belts and make new uh, lineages and whatever. So uh, I don't think that we need one touring set of NXT women's or SmackDown or Raw, whatever. Uh, I think we have enough women to be able to have one set of tag team titles for both shows. That's my long-winded point. So you want more titles? It doesn't matter. Does anything matter to you? Well, you know, here's the problem, Mike. Because no. why don't you just know? Because, because I have one championship. We were talking about how goofy it is that we're having a second prize for Roman Reigns now anyway that these guys are going after. And they have to, you know, sacrifice part of their character, whether you be, you know, Cody Rhodes, because he apparently doesn't have an MVP or an agent at the level of Black Lesnar to, you know, negotiate himself out of what he's doing. You know, he doesn't have a wise man. And with Seth Rollins now, you know, yeah, you wouldn't give me a shot against Reigns. Now I well, this. We were talking about you how asked me a question. that is. We talked about how dumb that is. Why not just have you, one set across you, the board? You asked me a question. I'm going to answer. I don't care because the way they have done this makes it impossible to care. It's impossible to care. They went on and on about how long Bianca had been champion, and now she's drafted another brand. She's going to switch belts. So now she's going to be champion for one day after they switch these belts. Who? Like, all of this is absolutely pointless. All I want is... Is for have you, one hold on. Belt. All I want is for you to have a consistent, like a consistency across whatever you do. Okay. Are you going to have a touring champion or not? If you are, then they should all be touring champions. If not, then you should have exclusive to each brand. Okay. Why do we have to have a specific? I don't know if you know this or not, but it's called the World Heavyweight Champion and the WWE Undisputed Whatever Champion. It doesn't matter what brand they're on; they don't have to switch belts. So, how about you make this consistent with the women? There's a world title and there's a WWE title. If you switch brands, whatever, it doesn't matter what brand each belt is on. But Dude. it's all inconsistent. The men, it doesn't matter if they switch back and forth. The women, it does. You have to switch belts. The women's tag can go brand to brand, but the 
men's can't because you have one men's champion for one show. It's like, dude. What it, but what does it matter if you don't have any tag teams anyway or you only have like one tag team of value? The I point mean, is you can matter? have a thousand tag teams because they have a thousand women. Just make some tag teams and do a tag team division. Lacey Evans and Dana Brooke, let's go. The main event. I was so disgusted. Why does a guy like that that's been a champ for so long have to have three guys come in and help him? Disgusting, isn't it? Yes, it is so disgusting. There was a lot of great matches. There was the first day. The second day was back to this same old crap. Her favorite was Gunther versus Drew versus Sheamus. Oh, I hate Gunther. You hate Gunther? Really? Why do you hate about him? Just doesn't look right to me. (laughs) It doesn't look right to you. Okay. All right. His favorite was the first 34 minutes of Cody Roman. His least favorite was the final three seconds of Cody Roman. Granny, do you agree with any of these uh, opinions here? What was that? I think she fell asleep. Yeah. Bailey was on Wheel of Fortune mm-hmm. and by E. By E? He said by E. Big E. I Big guess. E. Okay. Big E. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For your birthday this year, I'm not going to get you something decent. You're going to get nothing. Granny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Comic book villain. I keep saying this. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.